In the unforgiving terrain of Maasai land, a story of survival unfolds. Our journey has been fraught with challenges, but it pales in comparison to the trials faced by the Maasai. As the world around them changes, they cling to their ancient way of life. In this final chapter, we'll reveal their battle for cultural preservation and the dire needs to stand with them in the face of an ever-changing environment. Welcome back to Adventures. You guys, we've been on the road for close to at least from Nairobi now, I want to say maybe two and a half hours. Maybe. Like three hours. We are deep, deep, deep oh, in the cycle. Four, four, four hours. Four hours. Yeah. Even five hours. Yeah, yeah, we are deep, deep in Messiah country. Yeah. All right. How you feeling, Priya? Feeling good. I'm very much interested now to see him down. He's down. All right. Yeah, he's out. Yeah. Down. All right. Here is the house of Manyama. Manyamata, guys, is the house of a Messiah. And they live pretty spread away from each other. They don't have neighbors. Yeah, yeah. Even after two kilometers, we get a manyata. A manyata. After two kilometers, we get a manyata. Yeah. So that is it. Now this now it is a dam. How the people drink water? This. Oh, there's a river right there. No a river. It is a dam. The place where they dig in the tractor. Oh, a dam. Uh, okay. The rain come and they put water. Oh, yeah. good, good, so good. So the all animal come drink water here. Yeah. The, 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 somebody come help and they putting the this one because. Yeah. You need to train them how to drink a good water yeah. without mix. But there, there's a people come there and they taking their shower and they still to fetching water yeah. and go to drink. So life is. Wait, they shower and then they drink the same water? Yeah, exactly. yeah. because there's no shower. <laughs> now the river, you find the two uh, motorbikes uh, guys who is taking their shower. Yeah. And later you can find a, a woman of a old woman or a, a girl come fetching water for the cooking. The same water? The, the same water. To so wash the, the motorcycles yeah, and everything. The, exactly. My goodness. So the, here uh, the problem is water. A lot. Yeah, water is life. Yeah, water is life. When you get somebody who can uh, you here and get a bowl around uh, two bowl or far away, yeah. it will be good. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, and train them how to put a poultry, yeah. uh, irrigation. That is now a global of life now. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So you see the challenge is the water here. Yeah. No you water. can tell there's no water. We are dry. We have we see nothing but mountains, miles and miles and miles away. Man, imagine being here in the nighttime, a dark. Something else lost in the middle of the wilderness with a messiah but then you can go take your tea here guys that's the hotel right there yeah and this is the church yeah. uh, we need to get out minutes. of there this yeah. is awesome when they go five minutes yeah. mm -hmm. wow this is so a that's the shopping center yeah. you have a church yeah. and then you have a grocery store yeah he said there's a hotel so let yeah. me show you what it looks like yeah let, let go. let's get, go give us a tour yeah. of your town okay wow Masai Hotel. <laughs> Masai Hotel. Yeah, Masai I want to see they're that. Coming at uh, the during of uh, after one hour, they come rest here and they take the tea. Yeah. Okay. Uh, All right. Is she making the tea now? Yeah. This is the tea. Mm -hmm. Okay. They are selling twenty-five shilling. Okay. You want uh, to give? Yeah. They uh, they selling twenty-five shilling. Now uh, to get the food of mm -hmm. family. Oh, okay. There's no cow nowadays, so they say do business. You see now the way I told you, mm -hmm. the, there's a uh, water. Mm -hmm. The water making different. Yeah. Yeah. The water making different. You when you put a milk, mm -hmm. you are not going to putting any coffee to change the color because already the water they change the color. Yeah. And when you go test this tea, there's a different of the test. You can find the testing the urine of the cow. Oh, it tastes like urine on the car? No, no. Like I, I told you because of the water they mm -hmm. change. Yeah, yeah. Can you show me? It all depends on where you're getting Adi. the water from, basically. Yeah. If you get, yeah. it, 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 it
So, hello, yeah. Chia. Ugan kare tin ne. So, can you fill out again? This is his village, by That's the way. The tea. Okay, they use it only to fetch water. Time. I'm sorry, say again. Yes, wake up because of this water. Hey, you see now. Oh my God! Just sit right here. Just sit right here. It's okay. That's yeah. their life now. You learn how. Yeah. Uh, I, think I, I didn't realize. Yeah. I, need to, I need to see yeah. the water mm -hmm. of the drink the way I told you. Oh, okay. Yeah. So they, they can. Let, let it come back. Come back. When I like now to drink water, mm -hmm. you drink um, uh, clean water. Mm -hmm. These people drink a uh, different water. Uh, so yes, look, the, look, look. The like. drinking water. Yeah, that is the drinking water. So they collect water in this. Is the from river. The dam. Uh, the yeah. dam. Wow. That is this now is the drinking water. Do they, do they heat it up? No. They drink it just like that? Like that. Okay. So when you have any geo to help them, this is the way I need to help water. And um, you say your grandmother is 120 years old. Yeah, you, you go there and see. Him. So despite yeah, all these conditions, they live over 100 She's years old. Yes. Years old. Wow. Yeah. Salute. Yeah. yeah. Let's taste the tea then. Would you like to taste it? You like it? Uh, yeah. No, I like I just this is our life. <laughs> we we worrying about. So I live this life because of uh, I starting with this life, mm -hmm. and when I go, I get a good tea. I can take. Mm -hmm. I get a bad tea. A tea I can take. Yeah. I get a bad water. I can take. I oh. get a good water. I can take. Yeah. Okay. Is it look like life when it go, I go. Yes. Yes. Mm. So people who are not drinking water because of all, uh, there's water. There's no water. Mm -hmm. So this water is dependent for the raining. Oh, okay. It's raining yeah. season, and the yeah. place where you have a borehole, it is tinga. Tinga. Okay. Where you have a nice water. Yeah. So you walk around ten kilometers to from get to, from here to get what? To get water. Oh yeah. my God! Ten kilometers from your to okay. get water. Uh, fresh water. Yeah, to fresh water. Otherwise, you are dependent on this. Exactly. It's not so it's better we depend on this uh -huh. than you walk ten kilometers. Yeah. 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 Okay. 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 So let me ask you this: You can create heat out here. Yeah. Why don't you heat up the water to kill the bacteria? And uh, now this way, training we train them. We need uh, somebody who can come and train them. Because here, uh, only we have a small uh, sibling like this one. We train them out here in boil water. Yeah. But some people, hold woman, there's not like uh, they not like uh, boiling water because they say it tastes bad. Yeah. They like this one. Mm. So, so they don't want you to heat up the water. They they prefer having yeah, but, water like this. But uh, there's some ignora. ignorance. Uh, ignorance. Uh, actually, you know, when you grow, you even you where the, your place, there's a, you, the place you grow, not the way you now you live. Mm -hmm. And uh, nowadays they're starting to change. Because they buy a water, nice water, but this for the cooking and another day, others yeah. people, yeah. and others boiling. Mm. They're used to this, I think. Yeah. They're used to this uh, taste. Yes. That's why they don't believe in uh, boiling water. Exactly. Okay. Mm. Right on. Very interesting. So, I'm sorry, it's your turn. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, it's not. So, what would you call this place? Like, this is like your 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 your, your coffee shop, your Starbucks, yeah, right? Yeah, it's a Hilton Hotel. This is the, the Hilton Masai Hotel. Hotel. Uh, the yeah. Hilton. Yeah. When you could go with your high classes car and you yeah. go to the high class hotel, yeah. you pay fifty thousand thousand. I pay this one to a fifty shilling, and I get a chapati, which is a nipe chapati, njoke chapati. Yeah. Okay. I get a one chapati. And the tea is 25 shillings. 25 shillings. Yes. Wow. So this um, uh, a woman or a madam to get a, a f uh, money for feeding these children mm -hmm. and then take them to the school. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That is the other stuff I think. Okay. Yeah. Let them enjoy the tea now. Yeah. yeah. So guys, I am mesmerized by this place. Yeah. You know, like I said, yeah. it just brings everything in perspective. This I, is a I trip. Bonga back in time i mean personally i know they were drinking water from the river but to see the the color of the water and the consistency i had because and to think you know they actually don't want to heat it up they drink it just like that it's something else no, it's okay yeah yeah what, should, what do you think about this yeah i'm very interested to know this yeah the lifestyle is way too different 
Ilan Ronasa. Away sarap. from like those materialistic things that you see, you know. Yes. Very simple yes. things. Ilan yes. Ronasa. Would you try the water? Yes. Sorry. Would you try the water? Ah ah. See the thing is, I wouldn't mind. You know, we are not used to that sort of water. Drinking that kind of water. Because that bacteria will get us sick. We've lived all our life in the city, drinking those mineral water. Yes. Laundry. Purified water. Yes. If we drink this, we may fall sick. How do they deal with the cold? Does it get cold at night? Night is so hot. Because, oh, it's still hot. Okay, uh, good. It's still hot because now when it's burning in the soil, later the there's a, some flame which is hot. Yeah. So this area at night is hot. They're not using the sheet for uh, to put on uh, when they sleep. Yeah. So this area is so hot. Okay. Yeah. Wow. All right. And for anybody who says I came up with the name the Hilton Hotel, the Maasai did that. All right, I'm just repeating because some people be sensitive. Like, how are you gonna call this? But well, you call this place the Hilton, so I'm gonna yeah. refer to it as yeah, the Hilton the as well. Hilton Hotel. <laughs> Masai Hilton. Masai Hilton. Hilton Hotel. Okay. I put in high class. High class. Yeah, high. Put five in stars. High, yeah, five stars. Because when somebody drive a luxurious car and go to a big hotel or a high class hotel, he'll be happy. Even me, I'm happy in this hotel. Yeah. Mm. And I'm happy for to have my culture. They educated, but they not have any money to build the house of nice house for the building a hotel. Mm. But they have a something to start in life. Yes. I have a it's question. All within. Hmm. Yes. You feel peace. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what question? is the difference between this part of the Maasai tribe and the ones that people see when they go to Maasai Mara? which she was going to go to originally, and she still may. But what are some of the differences that you can highlight between you guys here and the Maasai that are used to tourists in the Maasai Mara era? Actually, I need to talk about Maasai Mara. Really? A Maasai Mara... Really? Yeah, sorry. Uh, he's, he's just talking about the Maasai Mara. Yeah, uh, Maasai Mara is the place you have for wildlife and the building very nice and have a nice view. Even here can make a nice uh, Maasai Mara too. Mm -hmm. For so the, these people living here to benefit for the money and the benefit for the uh, culture. Mm -hmm. Because now we have Maasai Mara in that side of Narok and that Maasai is another Maasai tribe in uh, Narok. And we have a Maasai in Magadi and they have also a uh, place Mara. This place can be called a defender for the, many people. So actually, here is nice like the way you go there. The different it is, there's no animals, mm. like wild animals now, but we can get a few of them uh, later or the rain season. Mm. So the name of Maasai Mara is the same as here, the Maasai. Because I am Maasai, and there is a call as Maasai Mara. So I like to also to tell people the let us to benefit in, your, in our side and help us we all come here and see how to we survive mm. and benefit uh, our areas actually okay mm. do you get tourists no we are probably some of the few to come over here you're welcome um <laughs> no but i want i want what is the best thing we can do yes. because i think for a lot of people going to Masai Mara yeah. is the experience yes, right yeah. but it has become for me talking to people yeah. it has become such so commercialized that is no longer authentic yeah. right so besides putting this on YouTube we are in Kenya now uh -huh. what can we do to put who should we go to try to talk to to put your name and your information out there because there's a lot of people come here like us we don't know where to start but the one thing that comes up on the internet every time is Masai Mara yeah. so they're getting all the money whereas you're not too far from Nairobi and guys Priya, how much did they tell you for Masai Mara how much like 450 350, but, yes. 350, but in, the, in India you thought it was like what a thousand? A thousand, yes. A thousand dollars. Can you imagine? Wow. Thousand dollar is like in shillings it would be ninety thousand. Yeah, ninety thousand yeah. to go there and visit. Yeah, but in, uh, I'm not going to talk because it is a help of Kenya also Masai Mara. It is a, a part of the government. Yes, but I like to also to introduce our side. Yes. To have a, a nice name like that one. It yeah. can Absolutely. It can say a Magadi Mara. Magadi yeah. Mara. It can carry call it even Bole Mara. Bole Mara. Uh, it can call it even Shombole Mara. Yeah. Shombole Mara. Yes. So Something. These are now to benefit. A Maasai here to benefit for themselves. Because now Mara employed men of Maasai over that side. Yeah. And when you come here, there's no people employed. They survive only for God only. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Wow. 
So when it comes to the education of children, mm -hmm. is she able able to go to school? Does she go to school? What's yeah. going on with children here? Yeah. Uh, nowadays we try. We put all the kids to the school. So we want to get a hard life like the way the parents pass with. Now the kids who are at school, even the government were forcing us to put the kids up to school. Mm -hmm. Because you, you know a long ago people grow when you go look in the kettles. They yeah. remain that madness of cattle caring. Yeah. But now they educated to be a, a teacher or a doctor through education. Yes. So actually, we are now ahead for to getting our knowledge and there's a lot of NGO help a kid or spiritual girls to educate. That's good. Yes. Okay. Yeah. But so the problem is uh, the basic, basic need like uh, water and shelter and food. But they have a shelter and food but water problem yeah yeah and what is everything yeah the water is life what's the closest school to here uh many walk uh, the closest school closing school day if you're now. walking how long does it take to get there others walking five kilometers ten kilometers fifteen kilometers they depend uh how it is a holder the kids which is a small than 11 uh, 10 to 9 and uh, 10 to 9 or to 8 uh, they using motorbike or the uh, mothers carry on back to take to the school okay yes all right so people here struggle a lot yeah yeah not the way the place we come from mm -hmm. uh, the more i told you the more it is higher the more it's luxury the more you go down the more it is harder it gets harder yeah, harder exactly is this as far south as we can go we're not going any further but i'm just curious is there another community past this one yeah a lot of community that's even worse than this yeah. worse than as far as like yeah, resources we go get in the community we are not uh, never saw the you they don't like the smelling and even they don't know who are you they will ask you where you come from and there's that different but it's far it is far yeah yeah i can only imagine yeah so this is tea right mm -hmm. Uh, would you please ask her what is the process of making this tea? I know there's water, but the way it looks, there's something else than just water, like something inside there. Only that's that's uh, like uh, to wash the dishes. That oh, okay. Tea. That's not tea, that's to wash the dishes. Yeah. Okay, okay, all right, mm. all right, sounds good. Okay. Mm. And uh, does she stay here all day long? That That's her main job? Yeah, this is the main job earlier in the morning until the midnight. Until midnight. Yeah. Okay. Mm. All right. And don't go. Yeah. So, uh, so now we have another guest. Uh -huh. Hello. Mm -hmm. How are you? <laughs> don't go. So, uh, okay. who, who is she? Uh, it is a old woman. Uh, mm -hmm. It is a old woman. We call her grandmother. Grandmother. Yeah, uh, grandmother. He has he have a face and he must be greeting you. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, now it's changing. People are not angry for giving money. Yeah, people are much nicer here. Yeah. So yeah. the way I told you, the more you close at the town, the more people are That's nicer. Wise yeah. And clever and have knowledge how to get. Money. I see. No, hey. I'm glad that yeah. we are here. This yeah. is where we should have come straight. Yeah. Mm. This is the real, the yeah. real deal. Yeah. Even uh, the time you have money, you buy a food uh, around uh, five packet, uh, two kgs of sugar and four kgs of rice and uh while cooking and the soap for showering and the soap of uh, cloth washing and some clean water and come train them how to put in a clean water yeah and give her a price of food. okay yeah that is an appreciating to help them yeah yeah all right yeah mm. and i saw the um, there's a church here at the entrance of the town yeah there's a church what religion is it uh, Church is not belong for any tribe. Any person who come to the church, he must come welcome. But the mostly people who are living here is Maasai. What, what do you believe in? Do you believe in Jesus? Do you believe in? We believe in Jesus and we believe in God. So you separate both. Yeah. Jesus and God. Yeah. Okay. All right. Because I I believe uh, God, uh, Jesus is the Son of God, so who is the Creator? Yeah. The Hilton, what he called the Hilton Hotel. And we're gonna get the lady some sugar. All right, so that's a very interesting day learning about the Maasai tribe and the different things. You, what'd you leave your tea? Stick. Oh, your stick. Oh, they're gonna beat you up. They won't know that you're a Maasai, man. 
<laughs> so here we are far away from Nairobi a good four hour four hours away driving in this Messiah tribe so these are homes so later on my friend is going to show us his home and we're gonna see how they actually live Customer. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. There you go. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Go. Ah, Santi. Okay. Change. So there's a lot of need. So instead of giving money, you actually give them um, gifts. So that's what I'm doing. Yeah. You actually support the local area and they make them happy as well. Yeah. Thank Bingo you so much. Drink tea. Yeah. Buy sugar. Yes. Okay, greeting them. Yeah. Uh, to care of the kids. So the kid. when the kid uh, sibling get a uh, early in the morning, yeah. they get the tea to drink. Oh right. Yeah. Sounds that good. That is appreciated. Of course. You can give them money, but now that money is not enough to buy the sugar. The sugar. Or uh, buy anything. It's better to buy that yourself. Yes. Sounds good. So we continue in the journey, and now I guess we're gonna visit uh, your my mother, house. Yeah, my grandmother. Your grandmother. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So let's go visit the grandmother and his grandmother, guys. Is 120 years old yeah. and think about how dry this area is think about how difficult life is here the water they drink all the living condition and she still made it to 120 exactly man some of us living all this kfc and papas all the big food we don't even make it to 60 70 years old man that is amazing wow so earlier you said that someone like you yes never had a chance yeah i never get a chance i am a good leader yeah a leader it's not who like money, uh, somebody who like people. Yeah. And to help somebody, not to show him to help. Let God see you are helping. Yeah. Not people to see you are helping. Yeah. And a life, to help people, all we need to help God is to help people. Yes. And when I get a chance to be a leader, I know how to make our our people good. Yeah. Then when now we go to the shop. I, I I just I know myself I need to drink a tea in the morning with yeah. a sweet sugar or a, a food. Yeah. Why not go to buy to her or she? Yeah. Now I'm not have any balance because I need to promote her to get a little money yeah. for feeding his sibling. Yeah. So that nice how a leadership look like. Yeah. Yeah. Tomorrow another day and we give a legacy which is living forever and ever. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. And this is how people live. So at least that tank, I can see, is getting water from the roof, and you cannot save some of that water exactly. and utilize. And that yeah. will be actually clean water. Yeah, this yeah. is clean water. Now this is a house of somebody who is dedicated. Okay. But this one, take this piece one. Oh, then, yeah. This one is a somebody who not not had anything. Education, Education. and they have nothing. Nothing. Yeah. But it depends on God willing. Yeah. 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 And God willing is sending somebody like you to come to help her. Yeah. He wake up in the morning cooking with a dirty water, a tea, and not putting a lot of um, coffee. Uh, he was only not putting a lot of milk, but you're putting a little of milk and a lot of sugar. Yeah. And uh, no coffee. Yeah. This guy and this lady, and uh, after the morning and through the night, he need money yeah. for his sibling. Yeah. How to go to help this lady? Yeah. He's only to buy, only to show us the way. Yeah. Yes. And if somebody who go fishing the fish, all, all the time we ask him to how to fish the fish. Yeah. Also teach him how to fish the fish. Of course. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. Can we take a look at the house? Thank okay. you. Yeah. So guys, we're gonna actually show you the house of uh, you know someone with lesser means. So that's what we have here. Uh in many places, including my village, this would just be considered a kitchen. Yeah, it's a kitchen. So you're telling me this is a full house? Yeah, this is a full house for the sitting and eating and cooking. And how we have a uh, water, and this is the place where the people come drink their water, uh, the tea. And where do they sleep? They sleep in the house like this one. Okay. But this is uh, the uh, Hilton Hotel. <laughs> it's called yeah. Hilton Hotel. Then yeah. you go to the Lecture Hotel, yeah. and now they must go to the Lecture Hotel. Okay. Yeah. 
All right, so that's what they cook, yeah. sit, chill, basically yeah. the living room area. Exactly. Okay, all right. Thank you. Yeah. So next we're gonna go visit his house. But before we go to the house, we're gonna get closer to that roof and I'll show you the mechanism to collect the water. So like he was indicating, you know, people who have a little bit more money can actually invest in a big barrel of water. And this is a big one. So you can keep water for a long time with this right here. So the water will just drain from the roof and go all the way down to this barrel here. And now you have some clean water and they have buckets. And these things, this is right together right here. You know, so wow, look at this big barrel of water, you know? Yeah, you're right, compared to the rest of the homes, this is definitely one of the nicest houses that they have over here. Yes. Yeah. Now this is the person who have educated and yeah. they live good. Yeah. Yes. All right. Yeah. And what about animals? Like, I know at some point the Messiah were able to, to go hunting, right? And bring the meat. But it seems like with the drought, There's this no is hunting. no longer hunting. No hunting. So you no. have no animals anymore? No animals. No animals. Yeah. People living and hard life. Yeah. Because a long ago, every, every area is green and every nice area. Yeah. But now it's, it's turning another way. Yeah. Uh, the season is turning. Yeah. So they even then uh, the bushes uh, animals is already die. Oh. So they depend for their God yeah. willing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. They, okay. Yeah. Sounds good. And uh, this is uh, somebody's house as well. Yeah, yeah that is uh, somebody's house. Oh yeah. So they they basically just build it with sticks, yeah. right? And whatever material that they can have to prevent the water from going in. So this is where somebody will actually sleep. This is their home, guys. I mean, look look at the the contrast compared to where you live. You know, this is this is where people spend their whole life, you know. But yet you have a gentleman coming from here who is able to speak perfect English, man. Salute to you. Yeah, thank you. Wow, that's amazing. That's amazing. So what is your plan now? Are you going to continue working in your shop? What are you going to do in order to bring more awareness to the Maasai culture? Because this is very fascinating stuff. Yeah, my first thing is to lift myself up. Yes. Because as somebody who have a fish on, we are not going to give others people fish on. Yeah. You start for yourself. Yeah. When you start for yourself, they come for you and ask it. But don't hide them. Yeah. Show them the way. I love visitors. Yeah. When somebody likes to help Maasai, there is a Maasai need to help. Yes. Maasai who is living in shop, they are different on who those who are living in interior. Yeah. So the Maasai who live in interior, they need help. Yeah. Need food, need water, and need also clothes. And he need also training how to train it themselves. Yeah. Because when the kid grow with a person who not dedicated, and the kid will dedicated, they refuse. Uh, they have a something called even me. I born with somebody who not dedicated. Yeah. So wow. Remember that. Thing. Interesting. Yes. Now this tree here, I see it everywhere. And when I think of Kenya, I often see pictures. This tree. Yeah. Is a big symbol. What kind of tree is this? This is called a a wet a moment tree. Is a type of a, a geisha tree. Yeah. So this tree, it is a, a rural area dependent or a, a place which is hot different. Yeah. When it's there have a little rain, it will be green. And also have a shade and fire wood. And oh. also it is a medicine of Maasai to put the uh, to the soup. Yeah. So the trees it mean many things. Okay. And uh, this is our area. When the people are trying to uh, have somebody who to have NGO to train them how to plant and give them water and uh, if somebody can uh, even put the 10 trees uh, on his area there's a change in this area okay yeah when you go side of Masai Mara we can get, see a nice place because yeah. I have forest yeah and have a uh, luxurious people who live in. okay why not live in this area right yes okay yeah I like it because it gives you a lot of shade you know it's a perfect tree for that you know you get like good 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 shade with that one you know I don't like it Hello. Alright. It is our father. Okay. My father, it is brother, father, brother. Oh, your uncle? Yeah, uncle. His father, brother. Okay. So this is my family. Okay. This is my home. Right. This is my place. But I live in the in shop for the business. Okay. But I have even a land there near to the shop. When I have a friend who will come to near to me, I can take them to my home. And even here, it is my home. Okay. Yes. All right. I'm still fascinated by this whole ear thing. Yeah. Does it hurt? No. Yeah. Yeah. It does not hurt. Yeah. Ah. 
Man, I'm fascinated with that ear, man. And they put like jewelry and then they spend it and stuff, man. That's wild. Little dog over here. This is as real as it gets right here. I am out of words. Everywhere you look at, there's just something fascinating. And this is how they dry clothes over here. You know, which, you know, that is typical. All right. So you have the kids hollering the water over there. You can see they have uniform. They just got out of school or something. All right. And then you have the motorcycle. So that's why before he moved to the town where we met, if you've seen that previous video, the introduction to the Messiah Mara trip, we met him several kilometers away. So he used to grab these motorcycles and ride to town where he has a shop now and he can sell things. All right. So this is the town. The, kid, the kids went to the rivers or whatever area where they can collect that water and they're bringing it back right now to their community. Okay. So that's what it is right there. Hello. How you doing? <laughs> Hello. Hello. All right. They're hollering the water back. Hello. All right. I was saying I'm fascinated with the ear, right? Yes. And what did he do? He took the part that was hanging. Yes. He hung it on top of the ear now. Yes. Ah, look, look, guys. That's what I'm talking Mara, about. Yeah. You know, uh, you have hundred shillings to help him. It's very bad to visit my old man. Yeah. I am. I have nothing now. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. Let me see what so I have. You have a hundred shillings. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I should look. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, you cannot film somebody's ear without giving them a couple of shillings. That's the least I can do. So guys, these are the roads over here, full of thorns. And you said the thorns can't do nothing to your tires, huh? They can't do this a week. Yeah. Uh, oh, they've got cows here. And then we have uh, goat. some goats. Goat, okay. We are going to drop off the lady here to her home, I guess. She near the lift, so here we are. And we are growing through the wild roads here with all the goats. I don't see the human in charge. You know? Wow. You know, from you here to you just like you go walking. Yes. So this lady, you see, you see, it is not fat ah. because it's all the time walking. Just, She's... just now count how uh, how long we come uh -huh. and the way we go to let her. Oh. Yeah, just count uh, how she walk all the time. Walking ah. to the shop, walking to the center of Tinga, ah. walking to the to the small uh, shop of uh, Mbulie, uh -huh. walking to his home, uh -huh. and then walking to go to the fetching water in Tinga with Dulke, come. So she's walking all day? All day. She's so fit. Yes. So Look when when she now asks about the, the lift, she be so happy. Oh, yes. She... Because now it will go quick home. Uh -huh. When you need to go to uh, fetching water, mm -hmm. they will go. Oh, okay. Because it is earlier. Yeah. yeah. But it count. Uh -huh. And you come from the house, go to the car, uh -huh. and then go to the work, and go to the car, Go to the house and you say I am tired. Who is tired? Yeah. Yeah. Is it this lady or the one who driving for the car? Oh yeah. Yeah. To ask the question about that. She'll be more healthy. You yes. Know? Healthy. Yeah. Yeah. Fit. Yeah. And healthy. You when you go to gym, you know. Yeah. You're <laughs> so so fit. Yes. Yes. You're so fit. Yes. Hey guys, look at the roads, man. This is what yeah. we have to deal with. Look at the roads. This is no advertisement, but shout out to Toyota for this one. This car can handle something. Man. And then the driver is fearless, man. He's going. He he can take us all the way to Uganda like this. This is awesome. Yeah. A giraffe. This is like your left now. There's a giraffe. The, the, in front of us right there, right? Be here. This oh, one there's one right there. Here, it's so nice. Oh my god. So we're right here in the middle of nowhere. I didn't want to book a safari. I told myself, let's just take a good a driver and let's get in the wild. Let's go visit the Messiah. The ones that are not used to tourists. And now, without booking a tour, we keep driving farther and farther away. And what did we see right in front of us? I'm freaking you off, guys. 
You got three giraffes right there in the wild. This is not a safari, this is their natural habitat. This is where they live. Amazing. So that's what you find when you venture in the wild. Hours away from Nairobi. At this point, we're looking at about five and a half hours. And we keep going deeper and deeper and deeper. And there's more and more communities out here. And one thing that my guide keeps saying is the farther you go, the harder life gets. So if you think water was hard in the community we just came from, it's even worse in the area where we are going. Come and venture out in Kenya. This is a beautiful country. And if you think your life is hard, come and take a look here in the rural areas and see what real struggle is all about. Let's continue. And as we went deeper in the wild, we encountered some very interesting animals. Okay, Asante yeah. Sana. Yeah. Okay. Ashole. Ashe. So we are gonna drop her off right there. She's gonna walk another five kilometers. It looks like the middle of nowhere, but there's apparently life somewhere else right here. Asante. Asante. Well. Wow. That is amazing. That is amazing life right there. Okay. It was very touching for me to see this woman walk away by herself in the middle of nowhere. And this was a habit. Here, survival meant adapting to this unforgiving land. This is a realm where water is a treasure and the horizon stretches endlessly, challenging the very essence of endurance. So guys, we've now made it to the third community here. Picked him up. Showed you the market, went to the first community, and now we are here at his hometown. This is actually where he lives. Yeah. So. Oh, Lord, Lord. it's family house. Right yeah. there? Yeah. That's your family house right there? Yeah. So that's where you live? Yeah, yeah. I live here. But now I am in the shop. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Super. So okay. So you have a lovely dog here. Yeah. Is that your daughter? Yeah, it is my daughter. It's my in law father daughter. Okay. Hello. But it is my Hello. daughter. Okay. Yeah, it is my daughter. He must That's how you it. say hello by yeah. putting your hand on he her head. He head. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. He goes to school? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he can talk it. And I need to go to school. You have two little uh, just, lovely dogs. Yeah, okay. <coughs> oh, hello. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. Hey, it's called Naini. Hi. Naini. Hi. Uh, okay. Chad, touch touch the head. Touch the head. Yeah. Okay. Touch the head. Yes. <laughs> Eat the fruit of the bush. Thank you. I found that a how little bit, uh, you know, different, but, you how, know. How, how old is she? Yeah. Ah. Yeah. 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 Okay. Oh, that's a goat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello, hello. How many children you have? Oh, yeah. 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 Did okay. Speak English. English. Okay. You speak English? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Hey, goat. How are you doing? Yeah. I must forget uh, my grandmother, and then we come go inside the houses. Okay. Yeah. So Your yeah. grandmother is once again 120 years old. So he has so far a goat, and we can see even the chicken right there. Wow. Hold on. Huh? It's a camera. Yeah, a camera for a video for YouTube. People are gonna see you all around the world. <laughs> uh, your daughter right there? Okay. Hello, daughter. How you doing? What's her name? Fidel. Hello, Fidel. Hello. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Then I touch your head. Okay. Not with your head, no. Great high in hand. Man. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Great in hand. All right. Yeah. All right. 
So for men, yes. they shake their hand, hands, yeah, and for, for women, they, they touch the, the yes. head. The one that is smaller than okay. you. Okay. Do we get that too? No, I have a case, small uh, sibling here. Okay. I must to help them. Okay. And they eat. Yeah. Yeah. I. Go to the door. Go now. Go to the door. You need to go so guys this lady in front of me is a hundred and twenty years old wow that's his grandmother All right. I'm gonna ask her what's her secret you know to live so long you know that is quite impressive especially when you think about how harsh the conditions are here do you mind asking her what is the secret to live this long the secret one thing secret to be patient be patient and be enough for little you get yeah and then that he, he have a respect yeah he love this world and he love himself nowadays the secret when somebody not get money not getting a good food yeah you start to have a distress of dis disturbing your mind yeah and you have a something we call what yeah. stress yeah she not have a stress Okay, how, how doesn't she have stress? Can you ask her? How can you live a life without stress? How is that possible? You know, <laughs> she have one stress only. When you not see the cow or goat, now he's starting to say, I am suffer because I'm not have anything to eat. And to have a food of this mother, only to drink, to drink a porridge, a cup of porridge. And a tea. Yeah. And, uh, yes. Uh, and she a Christian to God all the time. Mm -hmm. When you see you have a cow, you have a big house, he, his mind not to see the cows, but to see life of you. Yes. That is the life of his, this lady lives. Okay. Yes. What's her name? My, the name of the lady. Yeah. Yeah. Jane. 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 All right. Jane. Yeah. 120 years old. Yeah. Did she ever go to Nairobi? No. So her whole life was spent over here. Yes. Amazing. Amazing. Okay. Wow. Yeah. 120. Yeah. I respect that. Yeah. So the house is not the one right here. She lives oh, in this house. She, this is the house of the grandmother. The grandmother. But it's starting to be older, not healthy herself. So you go to them step. Okay. Whoa. Guys, the door is so narrow. I don't think I can squeeze in here. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, go. Go. Go, keep going. Where? Oh, that's that's a bed right there. Yes. Okay. All right. Sounds good. All right. And the rest of the house, this area here, that's the uh, family room, storage and stuff, and then here. This is the kitchen. This is the kitchen area. Yes. Okay. All right. So you cook indoors and not outdoor. You cook inside. Yes. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Hello. 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 About another community here, they're all so different. They're also different. This is older than my wife. And uh, she's what's your name again? Lekoi. Your name is Lekoi. And how old are you? 13. 13. All right. So they go to school and learn that you what? I'm a candidate now. Oh, okay. Class 8. Okay. All right. Wow. Question for you. Yes. The jury, does it have a meaning? Or is no. it just decoration? No, it is, there's a celebration today of somebody opening its uh, place to build. Yes. So they go there to help me. It is another tribe. Yeah. You bought the land and ask the community to come. Okay. So they, today they're giving a celebration yeah. for so that they arrange themselves like this. Okay. Yes. And uh, where where do you um where do you bury your dead? 
Because I haven't seen like not, a cemetery. Not here. There's no cemetery here. There's no cemetery here. Yeah, it is very far away from here. Oh. It's okay. from, from here. Okay. So, as a long ago, people are not having memory of uh, people who die. Yeah. Because the Maasai were afraid for somebody to die. So, okay. we buried him and left him. And uh, grand of, uh, grandfather of my grandfather, they took to, to the bush yeah. and the lion eat. Really? Yes. Okay. So people are long ago, people are not buried. They were just fed to the lion? Yeah, to the lion. They slaughter the goat and uh, take that fatness and rub it with his body yeah. and take him. To the woods so the lions uh, can be attracted. Uh, and that day the lion come and take him and eat. Eat? Yes. You still do that today? Or now no. You worry? Nowadays they bury it. Okay. Yeah. All right. I told How you. How fast? How fast when you die do they bury you? That time the people want. When you die today, you will be buried today. And today? How do you do it? It will take a long because they take him to the Nairobi Mushari uh, uh, cemetery and yeah. then they prepare how to do to the funerals and everything. The funeral. okay. So they, nowadays the people are changing the tradition. The, uh, the tradition. Okay. But the tradition of somebody die, and they took it to the barrio and they left there. Okay. Yes. All right. Yeah. Sounds good? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So we're getting in here. We're gonna yes. see. Oh, okay. We can sit here. Okay. That is the kitchen. So this is the kitchen area? Yeah, it's like to prepare the tea. The tea, okay. And this is how to prepare the meal of the spilling. This is the bed. This is the bed area right there. How many people sleep on that bed? Two. Two people there, okay. They still live on the top of the pullet tent. Yes. And others sleeping on the big batteries. Yes. And they say, I have nothing. Who? Now just see. Yeah. They will be sleeping in the pullet tent. Yeah. yeah. This is uh, the sleeping area for yes. two people there. Yes. Okay. Yeah. They don't have any problem with wild animals here, right? No. Maasai is like an animal and using uh, living in a shelter. This is the way they like this house because it's so hot. Yeah. The time the during of the cold is so hot. Yeah. They're using the cow duck yeah. to make it. And the top is they putting the pollen. Yeah. And then the bed they put in the pollen too. Yeah. They do not have mattress. And uh, along ago we were using a skin of the cow yeah. to put it on the top. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and a small hole. It's called a hole. Uh, there is the window. And yeah. it's always hot, right? So they don't have, they don't really need uh, blankets and stuff like that. Yeah, exactly. This is, this is gonna be where I end my vlog in this village. Shocking realities of life of the Messiah. So I met a gentleman by the name of Evans who's been driving us around and I hope you have enjoyed learning a little bit more. We met the lady that's 120 years old and her whole family, a really, really small house here in the village. So this is basically what's going on. We are deep in the woods in Kenya. This is a little field. I'm not sure what they do over here, but it's very well covered, surrounded with these leaves and they have a door. Check this out. In the middle of nowhere, with no internet connection, no phone signal, we are here deep in the bushes. Thank you so much for showing me your community and sharing all this uh, information with us today. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Thank you. So he, I will put his information yeah. on the description below as well. Okay. And uh, you guys can follow up with him if you have additional questions. So now let's find out what Priya thought about this. What do you think of this whole experience? Priya, no, even I even thought of, come, we also okay. come. What's that? You also come, no? We both will see. Okay, okay. Experience. So let's talk about this experience. What do you think about it? It was... I never thought it will turn out to be like this. We imagine we in the middle of this yes. jungle. Yes. Meeting the real Maasai. Yes. Getting to, you know, uh, getting acquainted with their way of living. Absolutely. It's surreal, yeah. It's yeah. And I know you were excited about the animals, right? Yes, and I got to see the animals too, you know. I saw the ostrich giraffe, which I never saw, and I was telling him 10 times yesterday. <laughs> I want to see the giraffes. But uh, finally today we saw them, you know. For the like, first time. Yeah, and that too, like, they were just running here and there. And we just got to experience it, you know. That is what manifestation is. You yes. manifest something. Yes. And it happens. And then it happens. Today it happened. Yes. Did you expect that you'll see wild animals? No, no. 
out of everything, I definitely didn't. And to see them in the wild, not in some kind of park. Yeah. Because we're, we're in the middle of nowhere. No phone signal. There's nothing here. Imagine. And uh, we see like the giraffes. We saw some hyenas. No, not hyenas. We saw the zebras. Yeah. And we saw ostrich. Now so I can, it's well, crazy. Now you can say you've seen a giraffe. Yeah. yeah. And now I can, you know, be uh, content and say that, you know, my trip to Africa is... It's complete now. Yeah, complete. All right. <laughs> that sounds good. All right. All right, guys. Say hey, thanks for watching. If you're not familiar with her, her name is Priya. I will put her channel on the description. She lives in India and travels all around the world. So check out the channel, subscribe, and hit that uh, like button as well. Yeah, don't forget to subscribe to Iron as well. Yeah, like, share, comment. Right. We shall see you in, my next, uh, in his next vlog. Bye. Thank you. Yes. See you guys. Yeah. Ciao. In the pursuit of progress and modernization, let us remember our connection to the past and the wisdom of all tribes. Our strength lies in the bridge between the past and the future, for it is in this connection that we find the true essence of our humanity. As we embrace innovation, may we also celebrate and uphold the importance of old traditions, for they are the heartbeat of our cultural identity.